In other news, there is some backlash tonight against former San Francisco supervisor and mayoral candidate Angela Aliotto after she used the N-word repeatedly in a meeting full of African-American city workers. KPX says Joe Vasquez spoke with her this afternoon. And, you know, Aliotto is a civil rights attorney. So what was the context for right, all this? Context is really important here. Civil rights attorney, former supervisor, former candidate for mayor, daughter of a mayor. Uh, but, yeah, so she... In her capacity as a member of the DCCC, uh, that is the Democratic Party here in San Francisco, she was addressing a meeting talking about injustices be, uh, related to the N-word in the workplace. That is her expertise. Well, in the process, she used that word out loud. When I first saw it, I took a, a deep breath thinking, wow, anger, you know, hostility. Former supervisor Angela Aliotto says someone egged her house in the middle of the night. She doesn't know who did it, but she believes it's a reaction to remarks she made at a meeting last month at the DCCC, San Francisco's Democratic County Central Committee. You very rarely have direct evidence of discrimination. You very rarely have. I'm not going to work with this I'm not going to work with that. No, you do that. She was explaining that as a civil rights attorney, she runs into cases all the time where people use the N-word in the workplace. But Aliotto said the word six times. It is the law that the word in the workplace is per se racial harassment and racial animus. Eventually, members of the crowd yelled for her to stop. I said to the HR lady on the stand, what was the name of the book you found in the cafeteria? In the heart of San Francisco, she said, how to kill it. Okay. And I said, what'd you do with that? <laughs> what, you told me the name of the book? I must have said it a hundred times. Because they don't get it. They don't get it. I am so sorry, so sorry, if anybody was offended. My sole point was to demonstrate how horrible that word is in the workplace to any human being. It's a horrible word for all of us, especially for African Americans. So I'm so sorry that in repeating it and giving instances of my cases that I hurt anybody's uh, feelings. As you're telling me the story, you are not using that word. Is that the answer? Like, I guess there's a way to have this conversation without ever saying that word that offends people so much. Yes, except I'm a trial lawyer. And I would never in a courtroom minimize the horrendousness of that word. In a courtroom, um, you have to tell the jury what the plaintiff heard. Um, has this been a lesson as far in public space? Absolutely. This has been a huge lesson to me. One member of the DCCC, uh, DCCC Gloria Berry, I spoke with her on the phone uh, today, and she said, you know, she doesn't know who would do the egging. She condemns that, but she was offended by Angela Aliotto's continual use of the word. She said in this day and age that she should know, that everyone should know you don't say that word out loud. Uh, but uh, as for Angela Aliotto, she says, look, she was elected to this position, uh, despite the fact that Gloria Berry and some others want her removed completely from the DCCC. She says she will stay and she will fight to stay on the uh, You want her removed as a result of this incident. As, yeah, they want her taken off completely from the Democratic Party committee. She says she was elected to it. She wants to stay. Got it. All right, Joe Vasquez. Joe, thanks very much.